Hey guys, Craig here, Old Bay Craps. And welcome to my fourth movie theme strategy series. The second consecutive series with films suggested by you, the subscriber. So this week I'll be rolling out five movies again. And we will be starting with a 1989 comedy about America's pastime. This film was suggested by subscriber CRC, also known as Crooked River Craps. So thank you, CRC. And before you say he may run like maze, but he hits like shit, this is Major League Strategy. And what you see on the board is a little chaotic, and that's on purpose. But what it comes down to is, we're gonna start with the DP, and this represents Rachel Phelps. Uh, the wife of an owner and an ex-showgirl who wants nothing but to move the team to Miami because of the better weather and a new stadium. So she puts together a ragtag team of baseball players to try to lose the season. And so she is represented by a $100 don't pass. Then we have our place bets, which if you notice, all six of them are improper. And that's on purpose. So we have a past his prime catcher with bad knees, Jake Taylor, number eight, with a $20 bet. You have, <clears throat> you have a shrewd past his prime pitcher in Ed Harris. You have Prissy, third baseman, who never wants to field a ground ball because of his doesn't want to ruin his good looks, Roger Dorn. You have Future Wild Thing, ex-parolee Rick Vaughn. You have Pedro Serrano, big time slugger, but he can't hit a curveball. And you have Willie Mays Hayes, who can field, can steal bases, but can only hit pop flies. So all of them are improper bets because they're just a ragtag team and they're not gelling at first. So just to let you know, I just laid this out for you to show you that uh, we have for Willie Mays Hayes, we have a $16 bet on the four. Uh, and we're not buying the four and 10, we're actually paying them out nine to five. So 16 will win 28. We have Rick, uh, Roger Dorn, third baseman. He is a $31 bet that will win 43. We have Ed Harris, past his prime pitcher, for $10 on the six, which will win 11. We have Jake Taylor, past his prime catcher with bad knees. He's a $20 bet, which will win 23. We have Rick Vaughn, wild thing pitcher, He's an $18 bet on the nine, which will win 25. And we have Pedro Serrano, the slugger who can't get a hit, hit a curveball with a $26 bet on the 10, which will win uh, 46. So the object here is to get all of these bets to become pro uh, proper bets. And then once we have proper bets, we'll start pressing. Um, so, we don't have to wait for all six to become proper bets. Once we're able to make it a proper bet, after winning the hitting the number once, we will then make it a proper bet, and that's how we'll go throughout. And then once a number makes it to being a proper bet, then we'll press. Um, and we'll try to collect after pressing twice. It's a tall task, but then again, at this time, the Cleveland Indians hadn't won a World Series in 34 years. So that's what the 34 and the colors blue and red for Cleveland Indians. We have hard ways that we'll play for a nickel each. <clears throat> this will be Jake's ex-girlfriend, Lynn. This will be the manager, Lou Brown. This will be the general manager, Charlie Donovan. And this will be, you can't have this strategy without Bob Euchre, the announcer for the Cleveland Indians. If a horn number is rolled, 
it's just another indication by Rachel Phelps that they're a bunch of losers. So we have to play a field bet and a horn bet, which are considered sometimes as loser bets because they're one roll bets. And we'll be playing an $8 horn and a $10 field. This is a $10 table. We will also have to play a $25 DC bet, which represents Hayward, the New York Yankee slugger who keeps taking Vaughn to task. Every time Vaughn pitches to him, he hits a home run. So that's how we'll play this. Uh, we will be playing the ATS because you just never know when the Cleveland Indians are going to win at this time. So maybe we'll win, maybe we won't. I have 10 shooters set up and we have a reserve, but this is a $2,500 bankroll. So that's 121 up here in the place numbers and 100 DP, that's 221. So we have 10 shooters set up and then we have 290 in reserve to give us the $2,500 bankroll. So I'll go ahead and take this away because I know it hurts the eyes. And we'll get started. So because I have this set up and these are off on the come out, I'm going to go ahead and just grab the first. That's the first shooter. So here's the ATS. And we'll bring the hard ways up as we play. All right, so we're off on the come out. Here we go. And we have a 5-3 easy eight. We'll mark the eight. Again, the eight's going to win 23. Actually, I'm sorry, that's, that's the point. So we haven't hit a number yet. That's just the point. All right, let's go. And we have a two, three, five. We have 31 on the five. Uh, that's gonna win. Uh, give me a sec. Sorry, that's gonna win 43. I forgot for a second. <laughs> so now we're gonna turn this into a proper bet. And we'll make this $30. And we'll take this and rack it. And out of it, we'll pick up three of the hard ways. General Manager, Charlie Donovan, Manager Lou Brown and Bob Euchre, the announcer, and we'll mark the five. Here we go. And we have a one, three, easy four. So we'll mark the four. We have 16 on the four. And 16 on the four. It's gonna win 28. So we will just change it to a quarter. Pick up Lynn and rack the rest. All right, here we go. And we have a four, five, nine. Let's mark the nine. And we have 18 on the nine. It's gonna win a quarter. So we're gonna take this down, make it a quarter. And 
break the rest. And we have a two five seven. We will win a hundred on the DP. So we'll rack that. And we'll bring up the next shooter, shooter number two. Reset the ATS. So that last hand was just a bit outside. All right, and that should equal 121. So we have green, green, 50. We have 20 here at 70, 80, 95, 110, 1, 14, 15, 16, and we're missing a nickel. And how are we missing a nickel? Or did I count that up wrong? Um, one second. No, I just counted wrong. We have 121. Sorry. I know I had the right amount there. Okay. Here we go. Let's get a point. Five, four, nine. Nine is going to be the point. And we have a midnight, so it's another indication. Rachel Phelps thinks this team is a loser, so we're going to have to play the loser bets. So we're going to do $8 horn, $10 field, and Hayward from the Yankees, $25 DC bet. Mark the 12. Here we go. And we have a 617. So we're going to lose all this. We're going to win 100 on the DP. Just going to bring this back to the rack. Grab the next shooter. 100 on our DP, and all this is, represents all this. So. And we need to reset the ATS and grab some change here. Here's for the ATS. And let's get a point. And we have a one five easy six. Six will be the point. And we have a six four ten. We hit a Pedro Serrano. All right, 26, going to win 46, and 
We're just going to take down the dollar and make it a $25 bet. And we're going to pick up all the hard ways and rack 27. Mark the 10. Here we go. And we have a hard 10. So 5, 25 is going to win 45. Um, now that we made it a proper bet, we can buy it. <clears throat> so it'll win 50 for a dollar big. And hard way will win 35. And we'll just rack that. Here we go. And we have a 3 1 easy four. Mark the four. Hard four is going to fall. And this is going to win 16 on the four. Gonna win 28. I'm gonna take down the 16, put the 25, buy the buy it for 25, replace the hard four, and rack the rest. Here we go. And we have a one, five, six. That's the point hit. So this is gonna come off. We're gonna lose the DP, but this is gonna win 11. And with this, we can now make, we'll put this in the rack and grab proper, proper bet. So now we have 18 on the six, which is a proper bet. All right, we're gonna grab the 100, replace the DP. We are uh, the hard six fell, sorry. And we'll replace that. And this is all off on the come out. Here we go. And we have a 437, just another indication. It's been 34 years since Cleveland didn't want anything. Thanks, Rachel. I'm sure the team appreciates that. So we lose the DP. Bring it back up. And we'll pay for the ATS and reset that. And here we go. And we have a 6-2 easy 8. 8 will be the point. And we have a 1-2-3. That's a horn number. So a $10 field. $8 Horn and $25 Hayward from the Yankees. And we'll mark the three. And here we go. And we have back to back threes. That wins all triple cheese. It's going to win a quarter on the DC bet. It's going to win 10 in the field. And this is going to be two dollars on the three, and that's going to win thirty and down. So that's going to be. We'll just color that up. That's a hundred two dollar win. Not bad. All right, here we go. And we have a one, four, five. Mark the five. Doran's gonna win 43. And we're gonna go ahead and make it a proper bet. We'll do 30. And we'll rack the rest.
and we have a 5-3 easy 8. Hit the point again. But 20 is going to win 23. We'll do a quarter for two. And we'll now make this a proper bet. $30 bet. Going to lose the DP because we hit the point. And the hard heart eight will fall. We will bring back up the heart eight. And we will need another DP. And here we go. Three, one, four. Mark the four. Four will be the point. And we have snake eyes. Aces in both places. That's a horn number. Let's mark it. And because it's a horn number, $10 in the field. $8 horn. And a Hayward DC bet. And we have a nine. So that's going to lose the horn. It's going to win in the field. This will travel up behind the nine. And the place nine will win, we'll win a quarter. So we will take this up to a quarter and rack the rest. And mark the nine. And we have a one, four, five. And now we have a proper bet on five. So 30 is going to win 42. And we can now press it. So we will press the five to 40. Rack the rest. And we have a one, two, three. OBC. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna that's another horn number So that's an eight dollar horn Ten dollar field Because Rachel thinks these are all loser bets and a 25 Hayward bet Here we go And we have a hard ten Let me get this over here That was a five. This will go behind the 10. We bought the 10, so that's going to win 50 for $1 dig. And hard 10 is going to win 35 on the hard 10. 10 in the field. Going to lose the horn bet. And now we can press... We'll press the 10 to 50. And we'll bring the rest of the rack and we'll mark the 10. All right, here we go. And we have a hard six. Beautiful. Hard six now has a proper bet on it, so 18 is going to win 21. And I just realized that all of them have a proper bet, which means now, since they all have a proper bet, if we hit the point, we're going to regress the DP because as the team does better, Rachel Phelps gets smaller and smaller and more in, in, insignificant. So the hard uh, six is going to win 50 for five. And we just hit the all small. That's beautiful. And we're gonna take the six up to 30. Press the six. And we will bring the rest of this to the rack. And here we go. 
And we have a hard eight. Hard eight. Third is going to win 35. Hard eight's going to win 50 for five. And we will take the eight up. Actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm a conservative kind of person, so we're going to regress. And we're going to collect this. I'm going to bring these additional shooters over to here. So everything in the back is uh, what we brought back to the rack. Everything in the front is the, the remaining shooters plus the remaining 205 in reserves. All right, here we go. And we have a 6410. So we're going to lose the DC. But we're going to win 50 for a dollar of eight. And we will press the four and ten. And the hard, hard ten falls. We'll go ahead and replace it. And here we go. And you saw that, folks. That two right there rolled all the way around this alligator wall just to spin around and be a damn two. That's all right. I think we uh, that was pretty cool that we made all the bets, proper bets. That's pretty awesome. Plus we hit the uh, we hit the all small. So all this is going to come back to the casino. Uh, we're going to win twenty five flat on the nine, and we're going to win a uh, hundred on DP. And now since, like I said, we made pro we got to a proper bet, but we didn't hit the point, so we can't reduce the DP. DP is still going to be, Rachel Phelps still has a stranglehold on the team. So we'll bring that back to the rack. Uh, for hitting the small, we are going to win 150 and down. So we'll bring that back up. And we'll reset. And we'll bring up the next shooter. We already have the 100 on the DP, so I'm just going to put that into the reserve. And this is the 121 for up here. So we'll get this set up. All right, here we go. Five, four, nine. All right, wild thing. I think I love you. I want to know for sure. All right, here we go. All right, four, six, ten. 10 has 26 on it. It's going to win 46. We will pick up all the hard ways with that and rack 26. Here we go. And we have midnight. Since that's a horn. $10 field, $8 horn, and $25 for Haywood from the Yankees. Here we go. And we have a hard four. This is going to travel up behind the four. We're going to win 10 in the field, going to lose the horn. But the place four. 
Place four has 16 on it. It's going to win 28. We're going to pull this down and make it a proper bet of 25. And the hard four, Lynn, helped us out. Only because probably we read Moby Dick. Cover to cover, babe. All right, it's going to win 35. I'm going to exchange this for a quarter because we're running out of room. I'm moving the whole world. I need to reset this. And we did hit a 4. We hit a 12, we hit a 10, we hit a 9. 9 is the point. I think we're all good there. All right, I think we're good. Let's go. And this time we have a one, three, four. So we're gonna lose the DC bet, but we're gonna win 50 for dollar vig. And we're gonna lose the hard four. So we'll replace that. And We'll press the four to 50. And here we go. And we have a three, six, nine. So we hit the point. We're gonna lose the DP. But the 18 on the nine. It's gonna win a quarter. We're gonna bring this to a quarter. And we're gonna rack the rest. And since we, well, we almost have proper bets on everything, so. All right, so we're gonna grab DP from, from the rack, and let's get a point. And we have back-to-back -back three, six, nines. Nine will be the point again. And we have a one, two, three. LBC. Too high. What do you mean too high? All right. We have a three here. That's a horn. $8 horn, $10 field, $25 for Haywood. And here we go. And we have a four, five, nine. We hit the point. This goes up behind the nine now. We're going to lose the horn. We're going to win 10 in the field, plus the 25 is going to win 35. So we will take all that to the rack, and we're going to lose the DP. So we're going to bring the DP back up. And puck comes off. And here we go. And we have a 6-4-10. 6 4 10. 10 will be the point. Here we go. And we have a 3-5 easy 8. The hard 8 is going to fall. Place 8 has 20 on it. That's going to win 23. We're going to go ahead and take... 30 of this, make it a proper bet, and replace the hard eight, and bring these eight dollars back to the rack. Here we go. And there's the one, six, seven. So puck comes off, this comes down and gets paid flat, and the DP gets played, paid flat. 
And we'll take all this to the rack. Grab the next shooter. We're on shooter. This is shooter number five. Shooter number five. Here's the ATS, replace that. All right, we're all set. Off on the come out. Let's get a point. And we have a midnight, that's a push, but it is a horn number. So we gotta, we can't do a DC bet because we don't have a horn. I mean, we don't have a, uh, a point yet, but we can do a $10 field. And we can do an $8 horn. And we'll mark the 12. And here we go. And we have a one, two, three. That's going to win as if there was two on the horn. So that's going to win 30 and down. And the field's going to win 10. And we'll just bring it back to the rack. And that's a three, and it's the come out roll. So we actually win 100 on the DP. Hallelujah. All right, here we go. <laughs> we have a back-to-back. -back one, two, three, OBC. That's going to win another 100 on DP. And it's another horn number. So, another horn number. Another $8 horn. Another $10 field. And there's a two, six, Easy eight, that's a no field, no horn eight. But eight's gonna be the point. So let's mark the eight. Here we go. And there's a three, four, PSO. Which in this case means we just, we've only, we only lost, uh, what, $36? Because of the ATS. I'm actually going to leave this up because I'm tired of <laughs> I'm tired of uh, putting it together. But uh, we're going to win 100 on DP. We're going to lose the ATS. ATS gets reset. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab another shooter. Well, we're going to rack the black. Gonna grab another shooter. This is all of this right here, excluding the ATS. And we'll grab 15. And pay for the ATS. And let's get a point. One five easy six. Six will be the point. And we have a four, five, nine. Mark the nine. We have 18 on the nine. It's gonna win a quarter. Gonna put the quarter on the nine. Pick up three of the hard ways. And rack three. Here we go. And we have a three, two, five. Mark the five and five's going to win 43. We're going to make this 25, take six off the top. We're going to grab the final hard way and bring all this back to the rack. Here we go. 
And we have a 415. So 25 is going to win 35. We're going to press it to 30, 35 and uh, rack the quarter. And we have a 459. We have a quarter on the nine. It's going to win 35. We're going to put 35 and rack the quarter. That's dice off the table. That's a new roll. That's a no roll. And we have a three, two, five. So 35 is gonna win 50 for one. And we're gonna take it up to 50. And rack 35. All right. And there's a 437. Puck comes off. Lose the hard ways. Lose everything here. Hundred on the DP. We're just gonna rack the two blacks. We're gonna grab fifteen. Replace the heart the uh, ATS. And we're going with the next shooter. This is shooter number seven. Is that right? Yep, shooter number seven. And we're ready to go. And we have a 3-1 easy four. Mark the four. Four will be the point. And we have a hard six. Six to one eleven. We're gonna this time take it up to 24 by grabbing three from the rack. And now it's a $24 proper bet. And we have a two, three, five. Mark the five. And we forgot to mark the six. We have 31 on the five. It's gonna win 43. So as you can see, we're doing a little bit more aggressive this time. We're gonna put it up to 50 on the five. We're gonna rack the four and we're gonna grab all the hard ways. Here we go. And we have a hard eight. Hard eight, mark the eight. And eight's gonna win 23. We're gonna go ahead and make it a $30 bet. And now the eight is a proper bet. And it's a hard eight, so that's gonna win 50 for five. And we're gonna bring it back to the rack. Here we go. And you saw that roundabout again on the, I gotta stop doing that. That's a three, four, seven. Puck comes off. Everything comes off. We lose the ATS. We do win 100 on the DP. And we'll go ahead and just rack all that, grab the next shooter, 100 RDP. Let's pay for our ATS again. 
and the rest of this is to pay for the box members. So we're getting faster now. That's called adapting. All right, let's get a point. And we have a one, four, five. Five always comes easy. Five will be the point. Five, three, eight. Mark the eight. Eight's gonna win 23. We're gonna take it up to 30. up four and ten rack three and we have a hard ten so 26 on the ten it's gonna win 46 We'll leave it as a quarter, take off the dollar, grab the other hard ways. We do win on the hard 10, we'll win 35. Now we're buying the 10. And we'll bring the rest back to the rack. Mark the 10. Here we go. And we have a four, six, 10. So the hard 10 is gonna fall. We're gonna win. 50 for a dollar big. And we're gonna take a nickel out of the rack, to replace the hard 10 and put the 50 in the rack. And we have a 415, we hit the point. So the 31 on the five is gonna win 40, 43. We're gonna just take off six and we'll make it a proper bet. Gonna lose the hundred dollar DP because we hit the point. So we'll need to bring that back up. We'll grab from our reserve. And here we go. And we have a six, three, nine, mark the nine. We have 18 on the nine. Gonna win a quarter. Gonna remove the 18, make it a quarter. And we'll just rack that. And here we go. And we have a hard eight. Hard eight. Jake Taylor came through with a point in the home run. All right, Jake. It's gonna win 35. Hard eight's gonna win 50 for five. And we already have a proper bet, so we're going to take the 8 up to 60 and rack the 50. And here we go. And we have a 4-2-6. Ed Harris came through with that grease ball, yard all, whatever he puts on this fastball to drop it 2 or 3 inches. All right. Going to win 11. We're going to make the six. Look like a proper bet of 18. And bring three back. And the hard six is going to fall. And we're just going to replace that. And mark the six. Here we go. And there's the one, six, seven. Another reminder that they're All Losers by Rachel Phelps, the ex-wife of the owner. And she's now going to make us, she makes us pay by doing a $10 field, doing a loser bet. $8 horn. 
and 25 for Haywood, who, wild thing, can't seem to ever strike out. Why is the puck off? Why is the puck off? What was the point? point was, I remember we hit the point, we replaced the DP, and then the very next number was, I don't know what the point was, guys. So, we're not going to do anything here. We're going to take down the DC bet. Oh, we hit a 617. We hit a 617. Why am I thinking we have to? Oh, that's what that's. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Uh, this all comes back to me. Um, we can't make a. A DC bet. I thought I hit a horn number. That's what it was. I thought I hit a horn number. Sorry, guys. I'm glad my brain let me find out what the hell I did. I'm just as past my prime as some of these other guys. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Going to win a hundred dollar DP. We're just going to take that racket. We have two shooters left. 100 RDP, 121 to set up here. We need to grab 15 from our rack. Pay for the ATS. And let's get set up here. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I thought that was a horn number. Uh, 617 is never a horn number in any craps game. It is always the one that ends the round. So here we go. Let's get a new point. All right, we have a 549. It's time for Wild Thing. You make my heart sing. You make everything groovy. Wild Thing. Here we go. 2-1. Two, one, three, it's a horn number. Now we can play the horn, play the field, and quarter for Hayward from the Yankees. <laughs> and there's a three, four, seven. I probably deserve that. All right, that comes down, that comes down. That comes down too, unfortunately. And that's what's called a PSO there. So uh, that resets the ATS. And nothing changed here. I'm just going to take the puck off. We are going to get $100 for the DP. We're going to take that back to the rack, and we are on our last shooter. So we never got to reduce Rachel Phelps. She always had a stranglehold on the team. There's the 121 right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the casino's bank there. I'm going to grab 15 Pay for our ATS. And this is the last shooter, guys. And we're starting off with a seven. That's not good. So that loses the ATS. Here's my 15 for the ATS. We have 105 in reserve, so here's another DP. Let's get a point. And we're not going to get a point. Uh, that's a 617. So again, we're going to lose the DP on the come out. Need to grab 15. And another 100 from the rack here. And here we go. All right, we have, we have a point. 
point is five. And we have a hard four. Oh, that was supposed to be a $16 bet on the four. My, my apologies. So 16 on the four. That's going to win 28. I'm going to take this down, put 25 on the four. We're going to pick up three of the hard ways. And this time we're actually going to drop a dollar. Get exchange for a nickel and pick up the final hard way. And mark the four. Here we go. And not going to happen. 617. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right. That was the He May Run Like Maze, Hit Like Shit strategy for Major League. Great movie. Thank you for the suggestion, CRC, Crooked River Craps. Go see his channel. I'll put a link to his channel uh, in the description. We are going to win 100 on DP. And that's how we're going to end this. So let's go ahead and let's color up and see if we did anything. Let's see if we made profit. And the Indians go to a playoff or if we didn't make jack and... They're going to keep continuing their losing ways. So give me a second to get this all situated here. Does anybody out there in the viewing audience feel that we made any kind of profit or even sniffed? Uh, this was a pretty big bankroll. All right. We had a $2,500 bankroll. That is the bankroll. No, that is 2,000. <laughs> Figures. All right, that is the bankroll. That's 2,500 right there. 500,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500. So this is all profit. All right, 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, that was the bankroll. Everything from the combat area up, everything from the combat area down is profit, 100, 25, 50, 75, 200, 225, 230, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 58, 258 profit on our $2,500 bankroll. That, everybody, 
is 10%. <laughs> so uh, we'll take it because it's profit. And you know what? Next time we go to the casino, we'll have 2758 um, I don't mind that. Um, I want to thank you. I want to thank Crooked River Crafts for um, suggesting Major League as a strategy um, or as a film. Um, I was glad and had a real fun time rolling, running this out. And um, if you enjoyed this movie strategy video, please hit the like, click subscribe, hit the notification bell. And guys, when you're at the tables, season your bets. Thanks. Good night.